Drug of the Day Phenytoin Pharmacological Classification Anticovulsant Phenytoin is classified as a hydantone derivative and despite its narrow therapeutic index, it is one of the most commonly used anticonvulsants. Possible Routes of Administration By Mouth, Intravenous and Rectal Bioavailability 70 to 100% by oral and 24.4% for rectal administration Elimination Half-Life 10 to 22 hours Mechanism of Action Phenytoin works by slowing down impulses in the brain that cause seizures. Phenytoin is believed to protect against seizures by causing voltage-dependent block of voltage-gated sodium channels. This blocks sustained high-frequency repetitive firing of action potentials. This is accomplished by reducing the amplitude of sodium-dependent action potentials through enhancing steady state and activation. Indications Phenytoin is used to control certain type of seizures including tonic-clonic seizures, focal seizures and absence seizures. To treat seizure during or after surgery, a 2018 meta-analysis found that early anti-epileptic treatment with either phenytoin or phenobarbital reduced the risk of seizure in the first week after neurosurgery for brain tumors. To treat status epilepticus Considered after failed treatment using a benzodiazepine due to slow onset of action. To treat abnormal heart rhythms it may be used in the treatment of ventricular tachycardia and sudden episodes of atrial tachycardia after other antiarrhythmic medications or cardioversion has failed. It is a class 1B antiarrhythmic. For digoxin toxicity, for formulation of phenytoin is drug of choice for arrhythmias caused by cardiac glycoside toxicity. Dosage forms and strengths. Capsule, immediate release, 30 mg, 100 mg. Capsule, extended release, 100 mg, 200 mg, 300 mg. Tablet, chewable, 50 mg. Oral suspension, 125 mg 5 ml. Injectable solution, 50 mg per milliliter. Phenytoin comes as an extended release, long-acting, capsule, a chewable tablet, and a suspension, liquid, to take by mouth. The chewable tablet and suspension are usually taken two or three times a day. The extended release capsules are usually taken one to four times a day. For administration, administer slowly, no more than 50 mg per minute in adults and no more than 1 to 3 mg slash kg per minute in pediatric patients. IM administration. Although approved for abuse, IM administration is not recommended, due to erratic absorption and pain on injection, phosphonatoin may be considered. Side effects. Common side effects include nausea, stomach pain, loss of appetite, poor coordination, increased hair growth, and enlargement of the gums. Potentially serious side effects include sleepiness, self-harm, liver problems, bone marrow suppression, low blood pressure, and toxic epidermal necrolysis. Patient Counseling 1. Inform patients of the availability of a medication guide, and instruct them to read the medication guide prior to taking this drug. 2. Patients taking this drug should be advised of the importance of adhering strictly to the prescribed dosage regimen, and of informing the physician of any clinical condition in which it is not possible to take the drug as prescribed, for example, surgery, etc. 3. Patients should be made aware of the early toxic signs and symptoms of potential hematologic, dermatologic, hypersensitivity, or hepatic reactions. 4. Patients should be cautioned about the use of other drugs or alcoholic beverages without first seeking physician advice. 5. The importance of good dental hygiene should be stressed in order to minimize the development of gingival hyperplasia and its complications. 6. Patients, their caregivers, 
and families should be counseled that anti-epileptic drugs may increase the risk of suicidal thoughts and behavior and should be advised of the need to be alert for the emergence or worsening of symptoms of depression. Any unusual changes in mood or behavior, or the emergence of suicidal thoughts or behavior. So that's for today. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.